Hi, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets and today I'm just going to run through what's on my iPhone and why. I've been asked for this so many times. For your information, this is being recorded on an Honor 8, which is my Android phone, which I absolutely love. I think it's great value. So, first of all, I put the calendar and clock top left. I generally don't need to access those with one, one hand. Shopping, so here I've got, let's tilt it up as you can see properly, iTunes, Apple Store, the wallet, Costa Coffee, Starbucks, Quidco, PayPal, Apple Store, Amazon, and I rarely use eBay now. I really don't use that very often. Bring that a bit closer. This will be quite interesting for people. Some of the apps I've got in my photo and video folder, Camera 360, using that less and less now, the videos, Google Photos, again, because historically I've got a lot of stuff backed up on there, but I don't use it now. I'm using the Apple iCloud stuff, but it's still good for historical and as a second backup. VSCO Cam, very nice app. Bit clunky to use, got great filters, great options, and historical app. Photo Sync. So when I've got any other hardware from any other operating system, this is how I move photos across. So from my Honor 8 to here, back and forth video, this does it really well. Snapseed, everyone's heard of Snapseed, you should have it. It's a free app from Google, great filters, great editing options. iMovie, iMovie is just amazing. And with iMovie, I put all my YouTube videos together and I do it on this phone because this phone is very powerful. It's got the A10 chip, it's brilliant. Pro Camera Plus HDR. This has had a few updates. It's a very good app for some still photography and I do recommend it. It's got a further update to go to have the Vivid HDR feature enabled for the 7 and 7 Plus. It's not been done yet. They've done the Low Light Plus for the 7 and 7 Plus and updated it, but it needs one more update. They have actually acknowledged they are working on it. Nightcap Pro works with the iPhone 7. For the 7 Plus, it needs an update for the second lens, but that's where you can do night stars, light trails, and this is a favorite app of mine. Again, do recommend Nightcap Pro. Rather annoying, if you want to check the EXIF data on any photo, you can't, but this little app, once you install it, creates an extension, and I'll show you how that works. Play memories, so if you've got any Sony gear, that's how you transfer your photos. Fragment, yeah, just a bit of fun editing. Prisma, we've all heard of Prisma for the RT photo effects. Cordoco, I only use this to remove EXIF data. So if I want to take the location off a photo or anything like that, or any of the EXIF data, because I want to make it private when I share it without the EXIF, I go on this and then I say save, save without EXIF data. Just a useful app. Color Splash pretty much removes the color. Slow Shutter, I don't probably need this anymore. I probably will delete it because apps like Nightcap Pro and one of the other ones I've got outside of this folder work very well. I'm waiting for Camera Plus to be updated. That was quite good. Adobe Photoshop Express, I like that for some of the filters that are on there. Skewer, well, this just basically adjusts. So if your buildings are out of alignment, it can move and adjust things to put them better in alignment. Don't use it very often, to be honest, but it's quite handy. Snap still hasn't been updated in absolute ages, but it still works. And basically, with a 4K video, you start playing it. You say take some snapshots, it finds the best 8 megapixel stills, recommends them, and you save them as you want. So you basically extract 8 megapixel photos from 4K video. Union is for overlaying objects on other photos. So if you had an apple, you could put a picture of an apple on a road and make the apple huge, if that makes sense. Sorry about that. Whoops, let's get back in. Um, where are we? Photoshop fix, faces, iMotion trying it out at the moment. Film Mic Pro, brilliant for video. Um, and obviously PDQ is for collages. I quite like that. So going into the sort of weather side of things, you've got Maps, which is Apple Maps, Apple's weather. My app mode is the best application for, um, if you've got an, an, an attack mode weather station, just looks far better than the official app. And you get these beautiful graphs, lots of information. You just saw that update. It's really, really nice. Google Translate, View Ranger. So if you go hiking, this is the app to have. And it's got a huge update coming for the Apple Watch as well. 
flight radar for watching aeroplanes and tracking aeroplanes, National Rail, Right Move for Property, Met Office for the weather, and National Trust. All fairly straightforward. I'll try and do this a bit quicker. Extras is where I dump anything, I don't use that often. So you've got voice memos, good reader for doing stuff and extensions like unzipping or reading PDFs or you know just doing some fancy stuff that you can't do because you haven't got a proper file system on the iPhone. Uh, calculator, that's just an alternative calculator. Speed test for measuring speed test. The Google keyboard, so I've got the swipe actions, I quite like that, stocks. Measuring the sound output of how loud particular apps or phones sound. Entertainment, BBC iPlayer, Google Play Movies, Apple iBooks, Netflix, TuneIn Radio Pro, Amazon Video, Kindle, YouTube Studio, for monitoring my YouTube channel, BBC iPlayer Radio, Channel All 4, Garage Band. Very straightforward. Devices, this is hardware, my home systems, my Apple Watch, Garmin, Connect Stuff, Home Security Cameras, Weather Station, Amazon Fire, Google Cast, Wemo, for my Wemo stuff, Apple TV, uh, some remotes, and that's for the um, Apple Nimbus uh, game controller, sorry. Photos, so that's pretty much photos. And just very quickly, I mentioned Nightcap Pro for doing light trails. That's one that does really well, just to show you. Games, I'll come back to that at the end. Um, reader for the RSS feed, so that updates really nicely. Now I've got all the different feeds and I'll update in the background. YouTube, Tweetbot, clearly the best Twitter application, period, on any platform. The default camera app, Safari, Instagram, the music app, Amazon Music, so I'm a Prime member. Podcast, Adobe Lightroom, mobile. Um, awesome, awesome editing app, period. Great for raw. Um, it's become my default app. I'm on a trial at the moment, but it will mean actually paying the eight quid a month. And for the first time ever, I think I might actually invest in that because I do get a lot of value. Programs, my other default camera app, a lot of extra is there. Within um, my sort of main folder, I've got deliveries, tracking all my deliveries, passwords, pocket for storing uh, stuff to read later, uh, banking, WordPress and a few other bits and pieces. Communications is more about social media. So again, it's various different apps here, all very straightforward. Um, I do keep the default Twitter app on because sometimes you do need to use the default app, which is rather frustrating. Just very quickly running through the games. So you can see some of the games here. Tem Tempin uh, Shuffle is an old game of mine. Age of... Um, well, I can't remember that's called, but that's uh, it's a really good game. <laughs> Badlands, excellent. Bastion Beyond... Zinth, Bag, Bike Bam, Broken Sword, Cannibalt, Astroware Casino, great one. Um, Bejeweled, Classic, Contra Jour, Death Worm, Flick Football, Fruit Ninja, Geometry Wars, Ice Rage, um, Limbo, Lumino City, Minigore, Monument, um, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, No Gravity, Osmos, you can see some of these, I'll try and do them quickly, Ocean Horn, Superb. PewDiePie, Pie, Raymond Run, Rage HD, Reckless, Riptide 2. Um, beauty of having Scrabble on iOS, no ads. Player on um, Android, you are absolutely games ruined by ads from EA. There you go, reasons to be on iOS. Shadow Gun, The Silent Age, Silverfish, Sonic, Sprinkle, Storm Raiders, Sorcery, Tech 3001. Great to play with a game controller, Tomb Raider, Transistor. Um, and these are just some of the apps, games I've had, but there's enough on there. Ooh, I've tried to run through this really quickly. If you've got any questions on the apps further, I do know these apps really well. Um, I did skip actually productivity, didn't I? So productivity, have got a couple of Google stuff in here, iCloud Drive and some of the uh, Apple uh, document productivity apps. But if there's anything you need to know, any questions, please ask and I will uh, let you know all about them as best I can with the links if necessary as well. Thanks, Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Please leave a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Bye for now.